Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to round five of Hospital Challenge Cup V for virtual. I'm your host, Jay Bor Staunton, and I wasn't here last week, but it was my good friend, and he's joining me once again today, Brendan Sauce Hotel from the Queensland Rugby Union. You were here taking the reins last weekend, Saucy Boy, and we saw some absolutely killer action, didn't we? I was, mate, although you really left me in the lurch there, mate, flying solo. <laughs> yeah, how was it, though? Did you enjoy yeah. your time in the hot seat? Best story of my life, mate. <laughs> You're alright mate, but hey, look, I'm back to join you today mate, but we've got some absolutely massive matchups today, and before we get into that though, let's have a look at the leaderboard, because there has been a lot of movement over the past four weeks, and as we saw, Sunnybank now, on top of the ladder, one point ahead of Bond, who are one point ahead of Uni, who are one point ahead of East, who are one point ahead of West, who are one point ahead of South, that goes to show how congested Hospital Challenge Cup V is going into round five. Well, mate, I think uh, the biggest turnaround there is Big South, since uh, we got the man himself, Shreko, in to take the reins. Just before that, mate, uh, it wasn't looking good for the Magpies. But uh, your favourite former Bulldog, mate, has come through with the goods, and he's back again to this afternoon. Mate, Shreko is absolutely killing it. Buried away in his man cave out there in Wynnum, absolutely hooking up the Magpies with some killer performances, and we can expect him to absolutely show up today. And we can see the Magpies will be rounding out our four fixtures, of that, four fixtures today in that east side derby with the Tigers at 4.35pm. But first and foremost, Source, 3.20pm, grand final rematch, the students versus the brethren. How bloody good. Mate, a couple of big games today. Obviously, as a Tiger, mate, I'm always going to get excited for East v South, but there's a lot of ill feeling between the students and brothers after last year's GF, and we've got two blokes coming in from that game who are going to be representing either of their clubs who have also been playing for the St. George Queensland Reds this year. We've got some absolute talent lined up, Saucy Boy, but we can also see Bond vs. West playing host of them down at the canal there, 3.45pm, Bond second on the ladder, they're red hot mate. Well mate, after a week off with the bye, we got Spencer Jeans returning. The boys from the GC, they're yet to drop a game mate it's, uh, they could be back on top of the ladder before the weekend's end. Well it's going to be exciting to see but then the other one, down the bottom left there, 4.10pm, the Gallopers versus Norths two sides that have been struggling a little bit but they can show up on their day can't they Source? Well, look, mate, we got with Ruben Fonlo from GPS Lake Co-op last week, and while he didn't get the win, he performed quite well, and we thought, let's give him another crack. So I reckon he's a bit of a dark horse this week. It's going to be exciting to see Saucy Boy now before we get things underway as we set our first match as that grand final rematch, and you touched on it just before. We've got a couple of Queensland St. George Reds who are lining up. Who we got, brother? Well, mate, they're joining us now. We've got the big Harry Hawkins <laughs> representing UQ all the way from Budgeham. And from Brothers, we've got Fraser McWright. Boys, how are we? Good saucy. So, I'm not too bad, boys. Iso treating us well? Iso treating you well? Your hair's starting to look a bit long, Fraze. Yeah, I know. I need to get a, get a cut, but can't really go out, can we? Just hey. go the one blade, mate. Go the zero blade. Look like Sauce and I. Go for it. I've got a... I've got a short forehead, so I think I'd look very rude. <laughs> <laughs> look, mate, you're not going to know until you try, so just have a crack. <laughs> How's things going up on the sunny coast, Hawk? It's been a few weeks since you played, mate. We're looking forward to having you back on. Yeah, things are well up here, Saucy, and um, I don't think I've gotten much better since last time I played, but we'll see how we go. Fantastic. That's what I like to hear, Saucy boy. So, without further ado, let's get our first match underway, shall we? So... Click start. Let's get straight into it. It is the grand final rematch between Brothers and the University ready, of Queensland. Hawk. Who's up? Hocko, is that you? There we go. Finally. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Off to a good start, Source. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking we should oh. mention that uh, the big Harry Hawkins was the uh, grand final player of... Well, he's the player of the grand final last year. So let's see if he can actually back up the efforts in the virtual world. Jeez, oh, <laughs> you really I'm set him up to go. fail, aren't you, Sauce? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're off to a rough start. <laughs> but we can see here the University of Queensland, same team rolling out all week, and it's usually not even the Oates the brothers team. that are absolutely chopping Hocko up. Hocko isn't even in the team. Pile. Pretty sure he's there in, there in the second row. <laughs> no, he's off the pine, late game. That's close. Okay. He's right. been dropped Fly for off. Ben Paxton Hall from the sounds of it, but it'll be Cyphaloy getting us underway once again for round five of Hospital Challenge Cup V. 
And that's BJ Oates comes down with that one. The students now. Good start here. McDermott finds Wallace. And that's SJ Tamala with the short ball. Oh, what a belter of a pass there. But good defense coming in. Release. From the brethren of Mellor. Oh, what a cutout. That is an absolute pearler of a pass. The younger of the Mellor brothers. And Oates gets absolutely oh, smoked bitch. there. <laughs> by Fraser McWright. And Uni. Struggling to get out of their own half here. Just bomb it off. Wallace. He's held up here by Gareth Bryan. And this is going sideways here. This could be turned over. If the students don't use it, but they do. And it's 3GH, third grade hooker. Sammy Edwards goes into halfback. And there's a loopy pass still inside their own 22. And Dow Gleish finds Oates, who throws it to absolutely no one. That's absolutely shocking. We're off to a flying start. Bravo, right Hocko. Wow. Hey, that's, he did have, he did have like, um, 20 phases or something. Yeah, that's oh true. He's strung some phases Fezler together. Fly. Yeah, fezler has been an absolute Fezler. bludger with his line-out throws of late, but that's a pearler right there to the back of the line-out finds Wilson, who obviously put it on the toe. Gosh. That's Mark rocked that up by Jock oh, Campbell. No. What a play that's there a great... from the brethren. Smart play source. Mate, interesting tactics here. Just smack it down, Hawk. See what, Jock Campbell's got a pretty edgy haircut in the virtual world. Doesn't he? It's like something you'd see in 2008 with the tracks down the side. Very oh, true. The great kick. And well fielded there from the students. Reclaiming that one. McDermott that. goes quick and puts the box kick in. And brothers now having to work their way out of their own 22. And it's Josh Fluke. And he's smashed on his own 22 yeah. there. But brothers now get that ball back well. And Wilson, short ball. Finds Stixie, oh Patty James. Right. Slow going here for the brethren with their first play. With ball in hand. And here comes Brad Kappa. Kappa steps inside. Jock Campbell. Some great footwork from the big man. Isn't it pretty stuff there, Saucy Boy? Short ball. Gareth Ryan goes straight through. But there's oh, the turnover there, Dow Gleish. Ops to put that on the toe. Was that a drop goal? Uh, no, it was, it was just putting it on the toe. <laughs> Fesler! Oh. Absolutely lit up. By his opposite yeah, number to... in Mellor. I'm and there's the turnover of Sam Wallace. Hocko, <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? I can't tell the difference between Sam pressure. Wallace and Tate. Yeah. Are we rolling Cypheloy now? Getting it out oh, of the go. 22. Ops to go long there. And field it well now. By BJ Oates, hitting midfield, really and he's seen. isolated there. And there's the turnover. Yeah, great penalty, really. Who got that one phrase? I it was think Chris Tupo, wasn't it? I thought it was Gareth. Either or. Okay, um, I'm gonna go. Oh my oh, god! Tactics. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Going for the points. What a sad. I don't even. I've, I've never kicked before either. So this will be about as close as you'll ever get a shot of goal, Fraser. So you better nail it. Gosh. Oh, it's looking good. Cyphaloy, forty-two meters out. Um, oh, and he's absolutely bombed it. I hit the middle lines. I don't know what, how to kick. What the hell? I'm so confused. Jeez, shades of that uh, that game at UQ last year between brothers and UQ. <laughs> <laughs> That's about Jesus pretty Christ. much true to form. If you ever see Fraser McRide actually take a shot at goal in real life, but there's Ryan Come Smith on. claims that one. Yeah. There's the turnover, oh. but it's just absolutely <laughs> hammered straight into touch. <laughs> I hope yeah, this goes nil all. <laughs> 34-odd minutes in, and we're still yet to see any points 
put on the scoreboard. And an ugly throw there and one there well by the students. Good opportunity now. Oates. Oh, lit up in midfield. Who was that source? He's absolutely deleted him in midfield there. Josh Birch gets wasted inside in and Reuben Wall puts that one on the outside of the foot. Was that out on the full? It looks like it was. Who made that tackle? Was that semi-high? Shooting in from the outside. Must have been. Because it wouldn't have been Stixie, that's for sure. Oh, this is going to be a real Melor of a throw. Not <laughs> oh, he Melor'd it. He knows it too. Look at him. Absolutely spewing Tommy Melor. We were giving Fesler stick. <laughs> yeah, taking a lot of pressure off Matty Fesler. Set. And there goes the halftime siren in the background. So the brethren now with their first, with their last opportunity of the first half. And Harry Wilson at the back. Slow going here. Four brothers and Wall. Long pass there finds Crichton. And Crichton is driven back there. Mick Wright opts to put that one on the toe. And Campbell now with an opportunity to work his way out of his own 22. BJ Oates picked up and driven by Brad Kappa. And Kappa gets the turnover. And there's another turnover. And there's another kick for the University of Queensland. Crichton now. Oh my God. Where? Oh my Sammy God. Edwards puts that one on the toe. And there's Paddy James fielding that one there. He's isolated. Could be turnover ball here. No, it's picked up by Fraser McWright. Silly option there by McWright. <laughs> Kappa breaks one, break breaks tackle. two, but he's brought down just inside his own 22 metre line. And there's some good defence. Good shot down. there. Was that Jimmy Dalgleish? Ball down inside the 22. Picked up there. Oh the students now five metres out. And there's another turnover. Cyphaloid puts that one on the toe. Oates fields that one well over his shoulder. Surely that brother's player was well offside, but that referee doesn't call it. Tupo spills that one. Jeez, the handling in this game is absolutely abhorrent. Harry Wilson now down this right-hand touchline. He's looks like he's running a quick save, and there we go, Lawson Crichton. Crichton now picking up the first five point. Oh my God! What's he done? <laughs> Oh, Fraser. What was that? Oh I don't know. I lost control there, guys. Fraser. <laughs> what the hell was that? What happened? What are you doing? What happened we there, Fraser? I thought we were playing Madden. What? Yeah, I don't know. I pressed the button and I just I kept going. I don't know. Well, that was the 54th minute of the game. We had 14 minutes of overtime and you ran it dead. Really? Oh, God. Right. Well, happen, we're back though, for the second half here. Let's get this game over and done with, shall we? Nil all coming into the second half grand final rematch. We've got Harry Hockings, the University of Queensland, going toe to toe with Fraser McWright. It's been a. Um, Where's my winger? Release. What would you call it? A bludger thus far, source? Uh, a tight affair. A tight affair, sorry, yes. Very politically correct answer there. It is a tight affair here in this grand final rematch, and there's a turnover oh, and okay. another kick. But it's fielded well there. Crichton so on his cute. own try line. It's turnover ball. Jimmy Dale Gleeze. Try time. Too easy. Oh, baby. How good was that, saucy boy? Mate, you can't give the Red Heavies an inch. They'll take a while. Oh, I am excited about that one. First try of the game. Hocko, run us through that. What happened there, mate? That's all the, all the kick pressure building up. Is that what it was? I couldn't have had no answer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Are you uh, penciling down these tactics to take him back to Thorny, mate? Will be, yeah. I don't yeah. mind this. Just kick everything. Yep, yeah, second row of kick option. I'm all about it. Um, Fraser, though, mate, you've uh, had quite a lot of possession, but no real territory. What are you going to do to try to um, pull your way back into this match, mate? No idea. Fantastic. <laughs> Good to see you confident. <laughs> so off this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Cyphaloy gets us underway here. Booming kick deep inside the 22. 
fielded well there. I think that was Ben Paxton Hall. But there's a turnover. Oh. Hands in the ruck by Brothers. Yes. The pressure's getting to him. They're getting frustrated. Very frustrated are the brethren. It'll be Jock Campbell. Puts that one on the toe. Will that fine touch? Oh, no, no, it won't. Lawson Crichton, good Should opportunity here to work his way right to left here. Wilson, good offload there. Find Sifaloy. Sifaloy's in the backfield. But he's hit well there. Oh, good. It, you hog. Defensive effort there coming from Jock Campbell. Wall now finds Ryan. Gareth Ryan's been big and he's back in. Behind that big, university defensive line. Just before that 22 metre. Brothers with their best opportunity of the game outside of Fraser running it dead. Release. It could be turnover ball here if they're not lucky. No, they do well to get that back. And there's the intercept. intercept. Good eyes up play there. Wilson with the turnover. Sifaloy breaks the first tackle and oh loses it in contact. Tamala. Does well to pick that up, does the big man. And Ronnie Rouston opts to go for the drop kick. But Seriously. knocked on by brothers nonetheless. I think I need some fresh legs. Find. Any danger? Set. I think they need Rising more than fresh some... legs, to be honest. <laughs> How am I going? The students putting in an almighty effort here at scrum time. Huge! Blind side here, and McDermott goes straight through. Finds Birch, who flicks it out the back. Third grade hooker. Sammy Edwards goes through. Gets past, no, then puts the through. shimmy on. I don't on. know what you're doing, Hawk. Look at the score, Slow man. pill here at the back. Mori does well to get that back. <laughs> Huge shot oh, there from Crichton. <laughs> Fesla so good. finds James. Release. Pressure at the breakdown here. Brothers able to get that ball back. Ronnie Rouston. Isolated. Fesla. Hit hard. Wall finds Crichton. And Crichton with a good opportunity on the right touch line. Breaks one, breaks two, flicks it back oh. infield. But it's wrapped up there by Dow Gleesh and Sifaloy falls on. The slippery pill there. Wall. To no one, but snapped up there by Fesla. Oh my god. Good turnover oh, oh god. there again. Good kick. Good kick. Loving the second rower, putting it on the toe. Fluke. Oh my god. How do they have the. How? Another turnover there. I think that was Fergus Lillycrap does well in Kappa now. <laughs> Good clearing kick from the big man. And the kicking game of the forwards on both teams today, mate. It's been on point. Absolutely loving it, Saucy Boy. You ever do that playing in your fourth grade there out at uh, Tigerland, mate? Uh, should have seen East versus West in fourth grade last year, mate. Lit up. Really? It's a great game of footy. Once the cameras stop rolling, you have to show me Sauce. I'm all about that, man. I'm all about that, brother. Back to the action here. Brothers steal that line out. Another ugly throw there from Mel or Fesla now. Crichton finds Wilson in midfield. Pops it to no one. But Rousen has enough time to wrap that one I don't up. Where, I don't know where our winger is. It's quietly. Excuses, excuses. Nowhere near Wilson. Brothers now. Final minute of the game. They're going to have to do something here. If they're going to work their way in to try and get two points here. And here we go. Whoa. Brought down well by Campbell, and there's the turnover. The students now just have to maintain possession, put it in touch, but McWright gets oh the turnover God. and puts what it on I the toe. It? Silly play there from Fraser McWright. Students now, surely all they're going to do is put this into touch. No, and there's a turnover, <laughs> Kappa. And there's another turnover. <laughs> well, yes, play. Come on, not game. Come on. Is it the ball game? And that could be the ball game. Yes, it is. Yes. And that sees in the grand final rematch once again. The University of Queensland coming away with that buttered confection. And Jimmy Dalgleish, he is absolutely pumped up for that. But 7-0 sauce. Not the most exciting of games, but still a good result there from the students nonetheless.
Well, look, it was an interesting game. Hocko definitely <laughs> uh, employed some interesting tactics there in terms of kicking it from the base of the ruck um, at probably 80% of the breakdowns. But uh, came off with the big man. Well, look at that. You can see it right there. Kicks 14 to 11. But then it was the handling errors. 12 plays, 5 to the brethren. How about then the tackle difference there? 30 tackle differences between the two teams. With the university top on the table there are 58. Jeez, ah, Lou. That is some weird-looking stats, isn't it, Saucy Boy, even if it is virtual stuff? But we'll throw it down to you on the sidelines. Source on the sidelines. Who you got with you, mate? Uh, well, the same two blokes. Uh, Who are they? Uh, Harry Hawkins and Fraser McWright that just played. How you going, lads? <laughs> Uh, Hocko, obviously, mate, you still got the bragging rights, mate, in the virtual world as well as the real world, mate. Uh, you're going to get stuck into Fraser over this one. Absolutely, Sauce. <laughs> and, mate, mate, I know uh, Wilso copped a bit of flack for his uh, non-attempt to catch in a ball that Lucan scored off last week. Um, and it seemed that Wilso went, uh, he was missing in action again this week. Um, someone's got to have a chat to the big man. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Um, we just having a few shoppers in the in the virtual world. <laughs> Guys, not to pull them online. Look, he's obviously got what is it named Super Rugby Player of the Season for, for however many games we had. It just Super Rugby form is not not uh, crossing over into club form. It's gone to his head source. He's bigger than the game, the virtual game. This is true. This is true. <laughs> Phrase, mate. Uh, brothers still yet to get a win in the virtual world, mate. What have the brethren got to do to get a win? Uh, I don't know. Honestly, I'm. Don't play me. I'm 35 and zero points difference. So, I think that's my tar- my retirement there, right there, boys. <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe if I actually press a, I don't know what button is to score, but just press a button when I'm in the try tries um in the end zone and not try to run it under the post and then maybe it would be in the sh- I don't know see I, I just very saddled. insightful source. so <laughs> essentially insightful. it is score a try brilliant fantastic stuff there Fraser it's Thanks like the that. 2018 <laughs> Prem Rugby season all over again for the brethren <laughs> <laughs> no it was an absolute stinger that's for sure but Hocko Fraser thanks very much for joining us lads we really appreciate it Appreciate Cheers, it, guys. Awesome. Thanks, boys. All righty, folks, don't go anywhere because coming up right now is our second fixture of Hospital Challenge Cup V Round 5. It is the students from the Gold Coast Bond University playing host to the Doggies of West Brisbane. Good on them. And we're going to kick it down to Sauce on the sidelines. who has got our next combatants. Who are they, Saucy boy? Well, we've got a couple of previous players returning today. For lining up for Bond, we've got Spencer Jeans. And for Wests... We've got the budget version of Chris Brown, Trent Marchong. <laughs> the poor man's Chris Brown. Trent, how are you, brother? Good, Jay Warren Sauce. Thanks. Thanks for having me. <laughs> now, Trent, mate, isolation's gotten to you this week, mate. You need to show fans exactly what the hell you've done to your head. It has, mate. I'm very, very pleased with the result. Uh, but I've gone uh, <laughs> to gold. I can tell you, mate, you are the only one pleased with the result. I don't know. I'm pretty pleased with it because it takes a lot of pressure off me. That makes going bald that much easier. Thanks for that, Trent. So you're only pleased because you don't have hair, mate. <laughs> Bloody oath. If that, if I had hair, I can tell you right now I'd be doing that. because He wouldn't be commentating on this, mate, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jay well, let's Wall. get yeah, things yeah, underway. <laughs> Do you want me to dye my beard there, Trent? If you win yeah, this match, could. I'll dye my beard, but you've got to win that match first. All right. Oh, no, he's actually pretty good. All righty. So, Usha, midfield, the new young prop coming over the doggies in the offseason. Sarovi gets that short ball and gets lit up from the outside in. Short ball there for Tyre, finds Anderson. And did and dives on that pill. So, Trent, you were saying, how many times have you played this game? Two or three times thus far, yeah? Fine. Uh, yeah, I gave it a couple of practice runs before Sick. we played last week, and then uh, I haven't really touched it since. Been playing with right. Fortnite and 2K. See, when you told me that, I thought you were going to go and be much chops. <laughs> I said I'd dye my beard, but we'll see what happens here. Paisami looks to put the shot on and misses straight it past with Gordon. Can't take it back. Now. <laughs> oh, God. Short ball here. Bond looking to work their way into that 22 of the doggies. And Bond now looking pretty good, working their way up now. Short ball didn't run straight past. Boardman steps in. T 
to halfback. Goes right, goes left, and he goes straight into touch. We'll Not his best that. play there from we'll Dan that. Boardman. Look at the chit on Boardman. Look at just everything about him. I always bring it up. His hair is just ridiculous in this game. Well, mate, he's, he's usually a pretty good-looking bloke in real life. He's got a head like a potato in this. <laughs> he does have a face like a half-chewed Mincy in this game. And speaking of half-chewed Mincy, it's Dan Boardman. Oh. There's the turnover. Pattaya over the top finds Paisami. Oh, no! I mean, go Paisami, go! Had to Paisami all the way. Too easy. Bit of a dive at the end. All right, Trent, talk us through this one, mate. Some pretty handy uh, offloads there from Patea in the lead-up. Yeah, I think it was a bit of a messy ball, and like you said, Jordan just got a, a good pick-up and was able to get it to Hunter in space. I love how Hunter fended absolutely no one on his way to the try line. Yeah, it wasn't good at all. <laughs> while doing it, too. Well, Carter Gordon steps up for the conversion. Hopefully he can get this one over. If he misses this, mate, he can stay up on the sunny coast and not return to training. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he's got Good a nail this way. Good account for the online lag. Very true, very true. Yeah, we saw Fraser Mick right in the match just before. This didn't really account for that. It was one of the worst shots of goal we've ever seen. I see Chris Brown's played Rugby Challenge 3 online before. <laughs> That's you, Trent. Trent, you're Chris so Brown. He is, he is having way too much fun with this. <laughs> <laughs> you did it to yourself, mate. Yeah, you dug this hole. Turnover ball there. Oh, oh Cooper Whiteside. Shot from the crowd. How about that one? Bond University goes through. Too easy. Who was that? that? Liam Dillon. Can we find that sniper? <laughs> Look at that straight through. Absolute statues there in the backfield. Too easy in the end there. And it'll be Mitch third. Looking to add the extras here. Seven points plays, five. With the kick to come. Should add this one pretty easily. Does third straight down the middle. Sees the point. Points be squared up here. Seven apiece. It'll be Carter Gordon. The young fly half out of BBC getting us underway once again here. Ops to go short. And Anderson climbs high, but that's brought down brilliantly there. Release. One now. Looking to play with a bit of width. Is that Menzies, is it, on that Release. left wing? That is Menzies, mate. QPR 7s player of the year a couple years ago, wasn't he, Saucy? Boy, here we go. Is that Zaki Zaki Moy Moy? Puts it on the toe. Cooper Whiteside cleans that one up well. Release. Cooper Whiteside's got to make up for that lack of defence from the first try. Bronson. And the big Bobcat. Driven back in D. Short boy. Boy? Short ball. <laughs> Let's throw a sese. Don't talk about Moses Sarovi like that, mate. <laughs> Anderson. Oh, what's doing? Sir. That's just Yellow good defense. Him. Show the cheese. Show him the cheese. Oh, He's gone. Is that big slipper? Bar Felicia. Slipper's he gone. He needed a 10 minute rest. What do you reckon? He's gassed. Ta tactical sub. Tactical sub. <laughs> How's that? Banana kick. He's only just made it, though. <laughs> the doggies now, the numerical advantage for the final 10 minutes of this first half. That'll be the Bobcat with the throw, will it? Nicely done. Very oh. well done there in the middle of the line out. So Robbie puts that one on the toe. Ugly kick. And Bond now with a good opportunity. The Bull Sharks working their way out of their own 22. Gowder. Met well there's, and there's a turnover, a turnover draw a oh try saver there from Boardman and the turnover up over the 22 great stuff there from Dan Boardman short ball finds Van Brecht 
This is good stuff here from the Bull Sharks. Cooper Whiteside fields that one well, just on that five metre line, and he is pumped. And there's another turnover there. Oh, baby! The show and go! Show and go! From the big man, is that Kieran Van Brecht? <laughs> Out of Tassie. I was about to say, I know he's Tasmania, mate, but I don't think they announced Brecht like that down I there. I think they do, Kieran Van Brecht. <laughs> <laughs> Talk us through this one, one Spence. I enjoy it. The son of a dairy farm. Um, I think it was all Turner set it up with the kick, really. I think. So, I think Turner's getting the back here. The former club captain out there at Bond University, isn't he? Nick Turner. He is. And there we go. Mitch Turner. third adds the extras as the siren goes to half time. So going in. To the sheds, 14 points play, 7 Bond University over the doggy source. It's been a much better game of footy compared to the first game. Well, mate, I kind of feel like Spencer's a bit of a sideline assassin here. We've been sitting back, ragged on uh, Trent and his uh, choice of hairdo. And uh, Spencer's just been going about his business. <laughs> well, you can see it right there, the territory alone. Very even stats across the board, but the territory all down in the doggy's half. Trent, you're going to have to work your way one out of this one, mate. Your way out of this one. I think there's just been a fair few distractions heading into the heading into the first yeah. half. So I hope your hair is a distraction. I was about to say, have you got a mirror Speaking in front of you, mate? Speaking of distractions, mate, what is that mop on your head? That is what's distracting to me. Spoken like a true sad Boys. little dude, eh? <laughs> <laughs> but back to the action. Here we go now. And you can see Slippers back onto the field. There's a short ball. Drive nice. SA shuts that play down well. There's a blind side there if they want to use it. It's Corbin Keenan who is lit up by Carter Gordon. And Bond now looking to get up over that 10 metre line. Paisami, good shot there from the St. George Queensland Red Centre. And Bond now with plenty of numbers here. Pritchard finds his back row partner in Kieran Van Brecht who gets that ball. Away, but it goes straight into touch. You'll want to pull that one back, wouldn't he, Saucy Ball? Oh, mate, I thought we were going to see the big dairy farmer in for a second, mate. Wouldn't it have been great? Would have been absolutely spectacular to see him get in that backfield, but... Look, mate, the Tasmanians, they need something to smile about. <laughs> oh, come on, Jeez. Saucy. It's lovely down that part of the world, brother. Oh, mate, I love Tassie to visit. You're a real piece of work, Sauce. Pattaya now with the hit stick and turnover finds Drower Sisse on this left hand edge. The doggies now. Dalgunu. Hit hard. Dearden finds Pattaya who shimmies in and away, gets the arms free, finds Drower Sisse. But it was a forward pass there from the doggies. Yeah, you can see it there, clear as day. Find. Set. Bond now with a good opportunity here, just to the right hand side of these uprights. But the doggies putting on a serious shunt here. And there's the tight head. Sarovi finds Gordon, finds Dalgunu, finds Paisami. Offset put that one on the toe. Poor option there. Gowder hit hard. And Skelton with the turnover now. Pattaya. And the Bobcat. Ever present is the big front rower. Gordon with that palm off. And here we go. Bond now. Pritchard gets free of the first attempt to tackle. Release. Plenty of space on the left if they want to go that way. And they've got the numbers. But there's the intercept. Middleton. Good work there from the Bull Sharks. Short ball, Van Brecht. Oh, what a pass, Papworth, Pritchard. The back row teaming up brilliantly here. Van Brecht does well to get back there, but he's driven into touch by Moses Sarovi. You want that quick throw? Oh, come on, Blythe, get up. Oh, Blythe, he goes high. Good bliff. Rob hasn't had any luck all day. And here we go. Middleton in midfield puts a good shot on, but they get the hands free. Bond doing well, cleaning up any loose pill here. 
Pritchard goes into half, finds Corbin Kin and gets it to no one. And Fotu Ali'i. Pattaya now. Picked up and driven into the turf. And there's the turnover. Blythe gets it to Turner. And Menzies opts for the grubber. And Whiteside's through. Whiteside with one to beat. And turns it over. Poor option there. Ugly play here from the Bulldogs, but did and does well to get over that ad line. Short ball finds Luca. Release. Up against his former club in Bonn University, but there's hands in the ruck from Bonn University. The Doggies now with only seven minutes to go. Off to go for the quick tap. Rodson finds Usha, finds Luca. And he's brought down just outside the 22. Dead end finds Anderson. And he's hit hard. And there's the turnover. Could that be a match winning turnover from Connor Pritchard? Time will tell, but we are under five minutes to go on, in the sir. second half here of our second fixture of Hospital Challenge Cup v Round 5 action. And Zaki Zaki Moy Moy taking his time. Finds Kin and good kick there. Can he get that to bounce into touch? No, he can't. Whiteside. Oh, all over the place here from the doggies. So Robbie Middleton. Go on, boys. And there's the Hudo. All they have to do is put this one into touch. No. There's a turnover. Didden finds Droa Sese. Droa Sese in the backfield. Oh, there's the intercept. And Boardman hammers that one into touch. And there we have it. Full time here. At the canal, Bond University, 14 points to seven over the doggies. And Source, that is an instant classic of Hospital Challenge Cup V, isn't it? Well, mate, the Bull Sharks are now four from four. They will retake top of the ladder as undefeated, uh, our only undefeated team. But, mate, we've gone from a bludger of a match in the first game to an absolute cracker. <laughs> Literally one of the worst games Hospital Challenge Cup we've seen all year. And then that one right there, easily the best. We saw two of the best proponents in it in Trent Marchong and Spencer Jeans. And you got them on the sidelines, do you, Sauce? Well, I think so. Virtual sidelines. Yeah, that'll do. Yep, yep. All right. <laughs> well, Spence, mate, uh, obviously a tight one, 14-7. But uh, as we said at half time, mate, silent assassin. We were too busy uh, ragging on Trent's haircut, mate. And you came through with the goods. Yeah, no, I think that was a lot, a lot to do with it. You had him rattled from the start, so it was, um, You're yeah, it was just good. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, here to help, here to help. And, mate, uh, has there been much chat around the Bond boys, mate, uh, pressure on to keep the undefeated streak alive? Uh, I don't think many of them even know what's going on, to be honest. I think the only one that watches is Gowda because it's, it's, I think it's the best footy he's seen him play in a while. <laughs> <laughs> well, mate, judging from Gowda's uh, Instagram, mate, he's not up to much besides surfing and sitting at home. So, you know, Tuck he's got to do something to uh, keep himself interested in isolation, mate. But you're representing the Bull Sharks well. Uh, Trent, mate. Get a haircut. Oh, uh, yeah. Tough one. Mate, you're going to have to go away and have a rethink about uh, what you're doing with that <coughs> uh, rough lid, mate. I just want to point out something. Did Spencer grab a sniper or something, mate? Cooper Whiteside was laying in the in goal area. No, that's just Cooper Whiteside. Oh, Spencer's. <laughs> that's just straight up Cooper Whiteside there. Trent. And every every time I ran the ball, Spencer was getting a pilfer. Happy Which days. Break down. Spencer was just too quick. It's because you're no good. <laughs> Even your team disapproves of that a, haircut. Could be a J ball. <laughs> no, I'm just teasing Trent. But Spence, Trent, thanks very much for joining us, lads. No, so nice. Wonderful. All right, ladies and gentlemen, do stick around because coming up right now is our third fixture here at Hospital Challenge Cup V.
for a round five action. It is the Gallopers playing host to the North Eagles. And Source, you've got our two next combatants. Who we got, brother? Thanks, Jay. We do have our players here for the third match. Returning for the second week in a row, we've got Ruben Fonlow from the Gallopers. And back after a few weeks on the virtual pine, we've got Carson Denner from North. Boys, how are we? Good, mate. Good, Source, yourself. Not too bad. Now, Ruben, mate, I know that you had a bit of a rough trot in your first hit out last week, mate. You said you're going to make a few changes to the Gallopers team. Have you had a bit of a play online during the week leading in? Um, I've played one game, so there's one more game, but um, I still haven't made the starting lineup this week. Mate, you're going to have to make a virtual version of yourself. And uh, Carson, mate, it's been a few weeks, uh, mate, waiting for another call up. You've been practicing. Uh, I've been away, working away, so probably the weekend I'm back. It's good. Lucky you got me this weekend, but I hope I can improve. Fair um, enough, fair enough. The old loss I got the other week. And now to the action here, we see Malik Patanga. It's been scrappy stuff in the opening couple minutes here off the kickoff, but Norse now good opportunity to add the points nice and early. Wilshire finds Hunt. He's by himself, but he's in the backfield. One to beat, wrapped up well. But 10 metres out from that Gallopers try line. Opted to go to that short ball to Harley Fox. Ken Taviri. He's isolated is Taviri. And it looks like the Gallopers might be able to turn this one over. And they do. Finofiuiaki. Short ball there. Finds Amori Wangavalangi. Ops to put that one on the toe. Can he get the regather? Yes, he can. But he decides to stay still, and he's absolutely smoked into touch by Jordan Tuapu. Now, Ruben, I just want to ask you, mate, there's some changes that are a bit weird out there. It looks like Jethro Flemmi's at hooker, Twainer Tualima at prop, John O'Kent at halfback. Is that a tactical change, or is something going on here? Yeah, well, Alvi called me midweek, and he, he it's one of, you know, he likes his little mystery mix-up, so keep uh, Norse on guessing. So I've made a few changes to that way. <laughs> yeah, all righty then. Well, we'll see how Amori Wangavilangi goes in at fly half, but I'm sure if he can get his hands on the pill as much as possible, could be lights out here for the Gallopers. But the Eagles now with that first opportunity. Big fan there. And Prudhoe goes in. Short ball finds Mattitini. Good work here. The Eagles with the overlap. Tony Hunt. Breaks the first tackle, but is absolutely smoked from the outside here. But that's a high shot there coming in. Is that big Freddie Burke? Looked like it. Good shot there from Freddie. Absolute bell ringer. And good nudge there from Chapman. Getting that ball about 15 odd metres in. Out, sorry, from the Jeep's try line. Some good button mashing there. Yeah, you can hear it in the background. Absolutely heaving and Blackhurst now. Good long pill to the back of the line out. Defensive pressure is great there from the Gallopers, getting that up over the 22. And Jeep's now. Another high shot. Some sloppy play here. It looks like it was Freddie Burke once again. Prudhoe opts to go quickly here. And bumps off Fino Fiuiaki. Jones finds Matt Titini and Whipperi. Looks to break that tackle, but brought down very well there. Good defensive effort. But the Eagles now still in a dangerous position. Tuapu. Patanga and Jordan Luke goes for the grubber. Can he get there? No, he can't. There's some seriously big cojones there shown by Matty Jaquel to not pick that ball up, Source. Mate, Matty Jaquel backs himself. And John O'Kent getting Laney. us underway. Goes long, just John O'Kent. Prudhoe fields that on his 22, looking to put this one on the toe. And finds plenty of green grass back there. And here we go, Jeeps go straight through. 
Release. You hear the referee asking for them to release. Kent going quick there, finds the pencil. Release. Long pill there, Finofio Iaki. And here we go now. Jeeps with an opportunity to get the first points of the day. And I don't know who that was, but they've hammered that. I don't know what's worse, that or Fraser in the first game. I think they're both absolute bludgers. Probably Fraser. Definitely Fraser's. That was an absolute shocker and a half, but that wasn't far off. And Chapman. Good play here from Jeeps. Little interchange of hands. Just getting up over the halfway line now. And Tuapu, the former Aussie Sevens International. Doing well there. Hit, stick and turnover. North's doing well to retain possession here. And Wapiri, he's isolated. Well, they've got a... Large blind side, decide to go open here. Tongamafu in midfield. Building phases well here are the Eagles. Wiperi has to get that bounce pass. Good eyes up footy there from Shea Wiperi. And Tuapu on Jaquel. They're going inch by inch here, are the Eagles just looking to maintain possession and they're doing well. Luke, fending off the arriving Jeeps player. Hunt, Hunt, absolutely deleted. Decides to go quick. Exciting stuff here, Norse. With five minutes into overtime, still looking to get the first points of the day. And here we go, we could be on here, boys. Good defensive effort there. Try saving tackle in the backfield. Jeeps looking to turn it over, and they have good opportunity here now. Freddie Burke, good pill there from Burke. Going back. Wangabalangi, good shot there. Kenny Taviri. Matai Tini coming in now for the short ball. And effectively a great turnover there was Varessa Matai Tini. The Eagles now another good opportunity. 12 minutes deep into this extra time here. Exhausting stuff from both sides. Chapman now. And Wiperi goes straight through the middle. One to beat. Low pill here. And there's the turnover. Wangabalangi puts that one on the toe. And Kentaviri is deep inside his 22. Does he just look to put this one into touch? He does. And that rounds out the first half here at Yoku Road. And it sees the score remain nil all after 56 odd minutes of footy source. Look at the possession of territory there from Norse. Surprised to see it's still nil all, mate. Well, mate, it's been a tight first half. Plenty of turnovers there uh, for both teams. But we see it here in the stats. Norse leading 70% in terms of possession, 74% in terms of territory. Right now, they're controlling the ball. Yeah, it's been all Norse, but the scoreline does not reflect that. That is for sure. So, Ruben, you've done very well considering you've had no possession and no territory. I'm sure you'll be looking for another defensive effort the same in the second half, mate. Yeah, a little bit more attack, hopefully, this time. Swing the ball around and uh, come away with some points, hopefully, and not kick it away. And what about you, Carson? All the possession, hopefully all I the territory. Convert. That's it, so it's all just about converting in this second half for the Eagles, whereas for the Gallopers, it's about actually getting that pill and maintaining a bit of possession. So, be interesting to see how we go. Out here, Yoku Road. For our third fixture of the Hospital Challenge Cup V. The goalpost in the way of the camera there is just like we were at Hugh Courtney in Oval for real. <laughs> There's a shot there.
Chapman finds Wipere, breaks that tackle of Matty Jaquel, finds Wilshire. Good shot there. The Eagles still looking good, but there, right there, good intercept from the Gallopers. Great opportunity now for the boys from Ashgrove to work their way deep inside that north half. Finofiuiaki backs his way into the contact. Pick and go there, inch by inch here for the Gallopers, but there's the turnover that could kill him here. Patanga gets the hands free, finds Wilshire, the new young second rower, having made his way over to Hugh, to Hugh Courtney Oval in the off season. Matitini with Perry gets to his winger partner. Slow peel, deep pass there, finds Ken Taviri, who's absolutely smoked. Losing ground here are the Eagles. Good shot there. Good turnover now. Jeeps with a good opportunity. Wunga Valungi. Release. Finofiuiaki goes wide. First tackle broken there. Here we go. And that could be out on the full, and it is. Poor play there from Ralphie Ivalu. Oh, this could be a very ugly throw here coming in from Cody Blackhurst. Cody Blackhurst throwing meat pies. And that's an absolute shocker there for the Eagles. Good opportunity here now for the Gallopers. Final quarter of the game. Fine. Still nil all. Sit. Jeeps asserting their dominance here at scrum time, but Norths do well to dig in. It's slow going, but Jeeps do well now. And they're using the numbers here well. There's numbers on the outside if they can get it there. Ralph Yavalu, good shot. Release. Put on him there. Big Sunia. Oh, the show and go. Gets the hands free. Good work there. Looks like Release. the pencil. Able to bring that one in. Burke. Here we go now. Here we go. Could this be the first five-pointer of the game? No. Jordan Luke, try-saving tackle inside his 22. But Jeeps now with the best opportunity they've had all game. And there's the turnover. Harley Fox. Snaffles that one up. Jones opts to put that one on the toe. It's ugly. But it turns the Gallopers around. They do well to get back there. Final eight minutes of our third fixture in the fifth round of Hospital Challenge Cup V. And here we go. Jeep starting to get some ascendancy here. Showing some real ticker. Are the boys from the 4060? Freddie Burke! Freddie Burke! Freddie Burke! Freddie Burke with the drop goal, baby! That is the single greatest thing in Hospital Challenge Cup V history. He's nailed it, Freddie Burke! You star! Reeves will have to clip that one up and send it to Freddie, mate. That's better than anything he's lifted in the gym. Oh, I think so too, mate. When you need him, he comes through for you, I tell you that. That is the single greatest moment in Queensland Premier Rugby history, folks. I'm calling it Freddie Burke with a 35-metre drop goal in the 75th minute. 3-0. The Gallopers. Oh, no. Get their pencil. Oh, the pencil. Could that be the match-winning turn? Oh, no. Wilshire puts that one on the toe. Wilshire. Lucky there, Rubes, mate. This is huge yeah, stuff lucky. here. John O'Kent getting us underway with the final play of the day. Finds Prudeau in the full. And there's the turnover. There it is. Oh. The Gallopers. The Gallopers have done it. 3-0 at Yoku Road. It's a Freddie Burke drop goal that does it. Woo!
Woo! Baby, how good is that sauce? Mate, we're lucky we don't have like a form guide on this competition because how much would a drop goal from the loose head prop be paying out to win a game? Three now, drop goal. Mate, I I have no idea. Like, I'm, oh, well, what's the last time we've seen that? There. Matt Dunning. That's literally the last, only other it's, time it's, I've seen a front goal Dunning, absolutely mate. nail a drop goal of that standard. That was an absolute pearl over. Ruben, how about it, brother? How good was that? Oh. Well, mate, first win for Jeeps, and what a way to do it with the prop in the 73rd minute to win it. I'm um, <laughs> going to send that one to Freddie. He'll be quite happy. Rubes, mate, creating a Queensland a Premier Rugby history. Carson, mate, a tight affair, mate. That's one of the closest matches you've had in the uh, Hospital Challenge Cup V competition, mate. Uh, cow tie out, I reckon. <laughs> 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 oh, mate. You're just salty from the internet lag, mate. Oh. Oh, mate. <laughs> there he is. Ruben, take a photo. Take a photo of that one and send it to the boys. <laughs> well, no, yeah, that mate. was an absolute... We saw an instant classic just before, and there's another one right there. Low-scoring affair, three points to nil, but one of the greatest moments in Hospital Challenge Cup V history, and that is Freddie Burke nailing a drop goal with only minutes to spare. Ruben, Carson, thanks very much for joining us, lads. Cheers, boys. Thanks, Carson. Thanks, mate. Awesome. All righty. Well, there you have it, folks. The Gallopers getting up over the Eagles. Three points to nil in our third fixture of Hospital Challenge Cup V. All the round five action is about to round out with our fourth fixture, and it is the Southside Derby. East playing host to the Magpie. Saucy, I know this one's close to your heart, and who have we got on the sidelines with us, brother? You're right, Jay. This is a match that's close to home, mate. The East versus South rivalry, mate. It is a salty one. Obviously, the two clubs, they're together in close proximity. There's plenty of players that have played for both clubs, whether it's in juniors or seniors. There's always a physical fair on the field, but this is the first time we're going to see it virtually. And joining us this week for the third week in a row, we've got big Shreko Island back. Don't mess with a good thing, basically, mate. They've been, South have been on the winning streak since he's come in. He's red hot, he's big Shreko. So we kept in. And then on high recommendation from Fred Futrell, who was pretty rubbish last week, <laughs> <laughs> we got his roommate, Lucas Nedzvetsky, who I will be calling Lucas for the rest of the stream. Nailed it, Sauce. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Lucas, mate, uh, first time coming in, obviously. You probably didn't have much to go off from Fred playing last week, mate, but uh, how are you feeling headed into your, your virtual debut? Oh, a little bit nervous, you know. First, first game, gotta gotta start off right, especially you know how Fred Fred performed last week. That was <laughs> that was bloody atrocious. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll try and put a couple more tries on the board, hopefully. Good stuff, mate. Bring it home for the Tigers. And Shreko, mate, you're joined by none other than Princess Frey, mate, who I understand's got a special joke for us this week. Yeah, Princess Frey does have a joke. You say it loud, darling. Give it to him. What is between? A tiger and a magpie. What is the difference, darling? Tigers can wear rugby. You got it around the wrong way. (laughs) 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 Oh, what a stitch up. (laughs) Well done. Yes, they are. are. Yes, Yes. they can. Saucy goes for the tigers. Thanks very well done, Freya. Good stuff, Freya. (laughs) Wonderful. (laughs) I better back. I better play a good game now. That's a great job. Then that backfire. Holy moly. Oh, oh <laughs> suck it. <laughs> suck it, Shreko. You're off to a good start here today, mate. But we may as well get my... underway here. <laughs> You're already well job, baby. behind the eight ball uh, there, mate. Thanks but... for joining in, Freya. <laughs> Great inclusion. Thank... <laughs> thanks, baby girl. <laughs> you were... Oh, you're talking to Freya. Sorry. Um, all right, so we may as well get this underway then, shall oh, we? Yeah. Our last fixture here on round four. Five Bye, baby. of Hospital Challenge Cup V. As we said, we've got the Southside Derby. We've got Lucas Nidzweski. We've got Lucas. We've got Lucas from East <laughs> and Big Treco <laughs> from the Magpies. I think I need another glass of wine. Yeah, that was a real bludger, Shreko. What happened there, mate? <laughs> trying you to were, play the Yeah, you were actually playing teacher today, so that's on you, mate. Oh, you probably spent all day trying right. to teach her that, and she absolutely bombed it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, it looks like you've uh, fixed up the team list this week, uh, Lucas. They've actually got Franto oh, back at yeah, 10 and Pilsy at 9. <laughs> I, don't, I just didn't like Franto at 8, eh? <laughs> Good stuff, mate. Frampton gets his son away once again. Filled it well there. By the Magpies, doing well to get that pill back. Shorty Farrell at halfback. Not too bad. Ripley finds Fayoi Sortier on the right wing. Stepping inside, but brought down well. Just inside that 15 metre line. And there's some serious sting. Already in the opening four minutes of this match. Bennett goes in. The old timer. Lacing up the boots once again. And there's the dive pass. Finding Farrell. Fletcher. Does well. Getting up towards the halfway line. Shreko goes in for the pick and go. And brought down with ease. Bennett's Fayawai Sortia on this right hand side has been looking really good. Puts that one on the toe. But he's now with an opportunity. First one of the game. Lirivel puts that one on the toe. This one's going to be. Finding plenty of acreage down there. And that's a great kick there from the young fly half. I've got to redeem myself, man. My daughter stitched me up hardcore. <laughs> big time, Shrek. Big time. But we know you've definitely got game when it comes to Rugby Challenge 3, mate. And Hospital Challenge Cup V. So, Not but with there Mowans we go. In the line out. Great line out still there. And we find Jax. Charging up the guts. Samoa chasing back after this one. Good kick there from Ryan Jacks. And Samoa is smashed inside his own 22. Magpie slow getting back here, but they do well. Going for the pick and go, but there's a turnover. And on the toe, straight over the dead ball line. Who was that? Was that Sam Richards? That's an absolute bludger there. I like that he's even got the 70s porn star mo in the virtual game. It's good gas, isn't it? <laughs> it's been going strong for a few years now. God bless him. And Lirabelt looking to get us underway from inside the 22. Long drop kick there. But fielded well there from Eli Pills. Walsh was chasing up. Oh, great no. kick there from Eli Pills. Well, back in his usual nine spot this week after a few weeks, uh, I think filling in in the forwards. He's looking a bit better there. Old Pilsy. <laughs> South opts to go long there, do well at the back of the line out, and it's Fletcher now. Looking Wrong to kick person. that one to the right, but hammers that straight down the middle of the field, and it's fielded the well there from Frampton. Frampton gets through one, but he's brought down by Billy Rutherford. Pills goes himself. But then offs to go for the pass, and it's Richards. Oh. Gets the hands free. That's Ripley it. looks to bend oh. that one over. Ooh, out on the full, back we go. Oh, Fred just got home. Fred, <laughs> stay outside, mate. You don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. that one. <laughs> Richards, good throw there. Climbing high was Garland, I think it was. A little wraparound play there, and Ah Wang smokes him in midfield. Richards goes into halfback. Oh, great defense there from the Magpies. The Tigers, first real opportunity. And they're a net loss here, four meters. After this strong Magpies defense. Slow peel here. Frampton will want to get that away. Doesn't do so. Opportunity here for a turnover. The Tigers do well to get that back. And just going nowhere here are nice, the Tigers. Farrell dragging them down from behind. Oh my. Strong defense here from the Magpies. Absolutely lighting blokes up left, right, and center. Well, and Richards just keeps right. stepping into halfback. Opportunity for a turnover oh. here. Salakai Alotto does just that. Puts that one on the toe. 
Huge shot there from Feoi Sortia. Chasing after his own kick. Pills now opts for the box kick and finds yeah, some space back there. Samoa having to turn and chase inside his own 22. Looks to find the safety of the touch line and that's a great kick there. What a nut there from Samoa to get that deep inside the Tigers halfway. Let's see how Sammy Richards throws today if he can get it straight. He's got it on the ball. Climbing high there. It was Pukke Garland as they march upfield now. Good stuff there from the Tigers and the ball's just left at the back. Pass absolutely nobody. Opportunity here to pick this up and go for it. Viliami Leia. Oh, get there, boys. Good turn over there. Samoa now. Release. South. Release. Using the ball well and maintaining possession. Rutherford gets the hands oh. free and finds Dean. Puts that one on the tape. Feoi Sortia chasing after it now. But it looks like the ball's going to beat everybody into touch. And the score now remains nil all after the first 40 minutes source. And that's three games now we've had nil all at the half. Unprecedented stuff here in round five of Hospital Challenge Cup V. Look, mate, uh, after seeing a few blokes get absolutely pumped in the first few weeks, we've actually found some guys who seem to be at similar skill levels on the sticks, which is good to see. But having a look at the possession there, it's been all south, 70% to 30. So, Luke, it's got a bit of work to, to do here, mate, to provide the Tigers oh, yeah, with a few sure opportunities really. in the second half. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Nah. Is that Freddie Futrell in the background there, Lucas? Oh, yeah, it's frustrating tell him to shut up no one asked for the peanut oh, gallery yeah. <laughs> they told you to shut up Fred <laughs> <laughs> and the magpies now good early turnover yeah, here yeah. Vili Amilea comes in off his left wing finds Ripley Dean Dean going for the corner great defense there from the Tigers plenty of blind side there to work with but defense is up to the task Bennett steps in Wolski Magpies, no. I was literally just about to say the Magpies maintaining possession well. Uh, interesting tactic, Shreko. Uh, yeah, mate. <laughs> Not going to plan. Really? Your plan wasn't was wasn't to drill that directly into touch? <laughs> just like no, uh, that, that pre-game joke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's been a tough day for you all day, Shreko, but... Magpies now with another number. opportunity, having all the possession in the opening 50-odd minutes of this footy match here. Salakai Lotto stepping in to first receiver. Oh, I just can't get the ball, bro. Leslie, there's oh. the intercept. Oh. And there's banana kick. Oh. And this could be try time for the Tigers. Yes, put it down. Oh, oh so no. Close. <laughs> 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 What happened there? Who the was Mika that? Mika Teller, was it? The former Magpie could have gotten the first points of the game. Couldn't have really Against his old club. Oh. But back to the action here now. We've got Jack Hardy putting this one on the toe. Good touch finder there. And it'll be up to Shawnee Farrell now. Looking to go long. Good line out there from South. Dean. Good shot there coming in from Jax. Salakai Lotto finds his Reds partner. Sayawai Sortia. Rutherford. Absolutely dispatched. It's slow going now here for the Magpies, but they've shown all day that they can build possession well. Lirivel with the pick and go. Release. Bennett's the experienced campaign having to step into half back. Farrell, good strong run there from the young hooker. 
Shreko. Oh, puts that one oh, on oh. the toe. Oh, oh, and that oh, one runs directly over the dead ball line after it. a couple of bounces. Not the option you would have gone for nah, there, Shreko, was, if you had your time again. No, nah, Shrek, Shreko should have been in the ruck and my fly half should have been there. Do you see uh, Benny Moen in front of you, mate, and uh, <laughs> saw your life flash before your eyes? <laughs> Definitely. Well, it's still nil all with 15 minutes to go here in the second half, oh, and there's the intercept. No. Tigers now with the best opportunity that they've had all day. Hopefully they can build some phases here. <laughs> Smith going nowhere, running rings. But they've still got possession. Moen. Oh, no. <laughs> Lucas. Mate. Was that Teller once again? Crouch. Ugly stuff Line. there from the former Magpie. Set. And coming into the 70th minute, we're staring down the battle of a nil-all draw. It's a lot of heavy panting there. Yeah, there. God. Right. Sounds Very like nice. me trying to get up off the couch. Billy Rutherford. Get there, get there, boys. Oh, Good turn over nice. there, Teller. Samoa. Bumped hard there, Futrell. And the turnover. Here we go now. The Tigers go straight through. Hardy. Smash there by Samoa. And the turnover. Liraveld now. Oh, Looks well like done. there could be a turnover here. The Magpies slow to get around that pill. Here we go. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, that was shut down pretty well there by Lucas Ripley. Ripley now finds Farrell. Finds Feo. I saw Tia down this right-hand touchline. Oh, God, that's ugly. No. <laughs> Ball in hand, Shrego. Ball in hand. Oh, quick throw. That's what we like to see. Jack's opting to take that one quickly. And the Tigers now. Released. Had very little possession all game, but they're looking good here. Oh, no, they've gone to put that one on the toe. This could run long. This could stay up, though, for Samoa. Oh. Frampton was herring after that one, and that was the last play of the game. Sees this match end up nil all. Now, Saucy nil Boy, draw. typically a nil all draw indicates that that was an absolute bludger of a match of footy, but I'm not going to lie, I kind of enjoyed that quite a lot. Look, mate, it was a tight affair. I, yeah, I, definitely. No, well, yeah, it's it such an anticlimax. It's like kissing your sister, isn't it? I mean, no. I don't know what you're into, mate. <laughs> oh, God. Kind of. Or are you speaking from experience, Shrek? <laughs> hey, fucking, fucking leave me out of it. Leave me out of it. <laughs> no, you're right, Shreko. But look, I mean, Shreko, you've uh, you've been on fire the last few weeks, but you finally met your match there in Lucas N N N uh. N <laughs> I think I'm. I think I. <laughs> yeah, Nev, we call him. And... <laughs> I think I'm still bloody shell shocked from my bloody daughter. What's stitching you up? Oh, big time. <laughs> Secretly a Tigers fan, mate. No, no, definitely not. I'll, I'll, uh, lock, her, I'll lock her in the uh, the uh, cupboard tonight and uh, she'll, she'll know better tomorrow. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, yeah that, that, that was a joke. That was a joke. For sure, people. mate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, I think on that note, we'll uh, we'll wrap her up. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, boys. Much appreciated. Thanks, lads. Yeah, you're right. Cheers, guys. Cheers, well, guys. Saucy, there we have it. We saw four absolute belt, well, three belting games of footy and one bludger that we saw in the uh, the grand final rematch. But we may as well just have a look at uh, the fixtures that we saw today. And as I said, we'll start with that grand final rematch. 7-0 Hocko up against Fraser McWright. Um Call a spade a spade. That game sucked. Look, mate, you had one very frustrated uh, member of the Brethren there in Fraser, mashed keys uh, somewhere on the north side. And Hocko, you know, ugly brand of footy, but he got the job done in the end. Yeah, he did come away with the W. And then the next match there, we saw Bond versus the Doggies, 14 points to seven. The only time I'm going to be happy to see the Doggies go down so that I didn't have to uh, 
bleach my beard the way that uh, Trent absolutely bleached his hair and turned himself into an absolute freak. But 14-7 sees Bond go to the top of the ladder. It does, mate. Bond regather their position on top of the ladder. We may have helped them along with all the budget Chris Brown chat thrown Trent's way. <laughs> but then we saw the Gallopers getting their first W of the season thanks to a 74th minute drop goal from Freddie Burke. Sees them climb up to 7th on the ladder. How good, saucy boy. It was good, and obviously we finished there with a nil all draw between South and East, which doesn't really help either of their cases uh, in terms of points. Um, East very lucky that West went down today in that one. But uh, obviously, you know, story so far, Bond, four from four. The Gold Coast students, mate, they're flying. They're absolutely killing it down there in the Gold Coast, mate. There mustn't be too much going on considering isolation because they're picking up sticks and absolutely chopping up the competition. But... Look, ladies and gentlemen, there it is. All the action that we've had from round five of Hospital Challenge Cup v. Source. Thanks very much for joining us, brother. Thank you for returning this week, mate, and not leaving me on my lonesome. No, nah, no, nah, you know I love you, Saucy boy. But ladies and gentlemen, as I said, thank you very much for joining us. And be sure to tune in next week for round six and all the action that we're going to bring you of Hospital Challenge Cup v. We'll see you then. Mm-hmm.